Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. We've got some great weather for spring breaking and for Rio Grande Valley Livestock Show going. Sure, looks good to me. On through the middle part of the week, we're looking at temperatures near 80, the low 80s on into the end of the week. And the weekend, wrapping up the Livestock Show, temperatures in the mid 80s with a mix of clouds and sun. More sun than clouds if you ask me. And as we move on through the end of the week, into the weekend, breezy conditions, southeast winds, 15 to 20 each afternoon. Now we talk about rainfall. How much have we had around here anyway since the beginning of the year? Precious little, my friends. Precious little. With Harlingen getting the biggest part of the haul at two and three quarter inches. But normally we should be at um, almost 2.9, so we're more than a tenth of an inch behind, but look at Brownsville, you're an inch behind for the year so far. McAllen, you're over an inch and a half behind for the year so far. And we went into this year with a big old deficit to begin with, so if those numbers look, well, meh, no problem, meh, problem. We need more rain. Drought conditions across deep south Texas range from severe to exceptional. Doesn't look like that's going to change anytime soon. The reservoir situation, well, the percentage of what we own, you know, you take Falcon and Amistad, put them together, you got over a trillion gallons of water. We own a percentage of that, and Mexico owns a percentage of that. We have 38% of our percent left, so things, ain't lo things aren't looking good. I like to say ain't when I get frustrated like that, so maybe I will just say things ain't looking good. Uh, overnight, you've got temperatures in the low 50s with clear skies. Wednesday, you have a high near 80 degrees. Futurecast takes you through Wednesday and Thursday with east to northeast winds, moderate, not too bad. And there you go on Thursday with turning a bit more southeast and warming up just a little bit more as a result. We need moisture not only at the surface, but aloft in the mid layers of the atmosphere. I mean, forget about the fact we don't have a decent trigger mechanism to fire off rain. We don't have any fuel. There's no moisture in the mid layers of the atmosphere for, to support the development of any rain. As you can see, it's just dry as a bone all the way up through 10, 12,000 feet. Seven-day forecast takes you right on through the end of the week with highs pushing on up into the mid to upper 80s, at least the mid 80s on end of the weekend with those southeast winds becoming a tad more aggressive. That's a look at your 24-7